taking a run at it, aren't you? Rolling up a stake and going to Vegas. Welcome to the number one poker radio show in the world. This is the Mark Hoke Show. The Mark Hoke Show. One full hour of poker news, entertainment, and lots of Sin City surprises. Now, let's bring on the host. Here is Mark Hoke. All right, everybody. How we doing today? We are live. Once again for the World Series of Poker, it is day 2C. Day 2C, that's right, guys. That is not 7. <laughs> it is only day 2. But a uh, pretty busy afternoon here at the WSOP. Boy, I tell you what, a lot of rails. Uh, Railbirds over here at the Brasilia Room. A ton of uh, great action going on this afternoon. As uh, we're going to try and keep you up to date on uh, what's been happening here. Uh, but, of course, you know, it's a, might be a little shorter show today because, you know, basically we're just going to look back at yesterday and see what's going on today and, uh, you know, see what we can get. We do have a, a players coming on break here um, in just a few minutes, so maybe we'll see who we can grab. But some of the uh, very interesting stories going on over here as the oldest player in the field is still around. How about this? William Walker, 94 years old, is still in the tournament uh, as he has continued to uh, make strides. Of course, last year uh, got to, I believe, day three and is doing pretty well. And let's see, he is in six figures. Right, Let me see if i got a chip count for him. Uh, 155 chips at the dinner break yesterday. So looking pretty good. That would be an exciting story for the World Series of Poker to have William Wachter make it through to uh, cash in this. I... I, I I'd have to imagine that would be a record. Be surprised if it wasn't, but uh, we'll be watching that story for quite a while. Should be pretty exciting there. Uh, we also, of course, are watching what's been going on in here today and yesterday. Um, we have a yeah. Let's uh, yeah. Gosh, we got uh, these guys are going to come out here in just a few minutes. Uh, so I'll tell you what. Let's do this real quick. Just taking a look at. Yeah, let's start running down yesterday. Uh, just a summary of yesterday. Uh, Hamid Faiz ends up taking the chip lead. Or a, I'm sorry, hang on one second. Apologize here. I'm sorry. Amar Ahmad Anand. That's a new name. Sorry. Amar Anand wins, takes the lead on day 2AB as he bags 603,500. So a pretty good start for Anand. And, uh, you know, pretty significant lead over the next player. Of course, this doesn't mean a darn thing right now. But, uh, you know, obviously sets him up uh, for cashing, I would say, for sure. I mean, I'm really expecting that uh, given uh, what's you know, where we are right now, we could see everybody kept the uh, money bottle break later on tomorrow, late tomorrow night. Uh, it's kind of my guess. It's either going to be tomorrow night or early in the morning. But with only, you know, with the 6,400 player field and... Uh, boy, and the the lower payouts, uh, I I just uh, I just got a feeling that it's going to be a little bit of a lighter day. We only have uh, right now listed uh, about three thousand players left, so I would expect we're going to see you know see a lot of movement today in that player count, and then uh, should be getting into uh, possibly into the money tomorrow night. A lot of that's where a lot of people are expecting it, and then God forbid what's going to happen when we see these guys hit oh my word when that money bubble breaks it is going to be insane in there with the payout structures so we'll we'll examine that situation a little bit again for you too uh but amara um, anand he is out of uh shrewberry massachusetts six hundred three thousand five hundred. calvin lee brings in the second biggest chip stack from yesterday 500,700 followed by uh, he's out Brooklyn, New York by the way Luther Tran 479,700 bags third Charles Shada out of London your top non-American at 423,000 and it looks like uh, they just announced the player break so uh, should be some excitement out here in the hallways we'll see if we can avoid getting the camera getting punted that would be a good thing Somehow, actually, somebody actually managed to do with a barricade around it. 
swung their foot right in there. Um, so we'll see who's flying around here getting an update. But we did have a uh, the Miami boss uh, almost nursed a 3,000 chip short stack back to 30, but uh, ran kings into aces and ace king and was sent to the rail. So the Miami boss out of here this afternoon. We'll see who else is hanging around. Boy, I'll tell you, just the, a lot of rail birds at this end of the building right now. I, you know, couldn't, obviously can't see what's going on on Amazon. Uh, things settling down over Pavilion, but uh, Brasilia should be pretty exciting. Ryan Reese is in the house. His dad here. His dad recovering from heart surgery. Want to wish him all the best. And Ryan, a great kid, and, uh, you know, terrific world champion. So we're looking forward to seeing if he can make a nice run here. To get back to the main event, our final table. And let's get just kind of keeping an eye on what's happening out here. And this is really going to be your last super big day. I mean, really, well, day three uh, should be a pretty decent one, too. But we probably won't have as many players in the house uh, the rest of the week uh, from day uh, from today on as uh, we'll be combining the field. So it'll be pretty close to the, the Kevin Mathers, everybody, who, uh, by the way, got to uh, got to do the shuffle up a deal going by. And Taylor Parr, Danielle Moon Anderson, not any prom dress today. I think she's stuck with it. But we're keeping an eye out on uh, who's going to come over here and see if we can swing an interview real quick. Uh, if not, it's the way it goes sometimes. Uh, keep it rolling here on players who advanced yesterday. Alan Mastic out of Reno, Nevada, bags 400,000 chips. He is in fifth. Uh, Soti Rios. Kotopas out of Vienna, Austria, 393,000. Uh, bet is in sixth from yesterday's flight. Uh, Joe Liu from Edmonton at 384,000. William Molson, another Canadian, at 373. And that's a good name for a Canadian, by the way. There you go, William Molson. Uh, Daniel Fuse out of San Diego, 368,800. And Brian Hastings, your top name professional, going through to day three. As he bags 367,300. And boy, Hastings has just got to be looking at his shot to be win the Player of the Year award if he can make a very deep run into this main event. Why? Okay. Uh, oh, God, Randall. Sorry. People are running over stuff. See, now that's the night. The Reese's are nice people, they're good people. Picking up stuff, I'll tell you what. Always, always humble. Great, great folks. Uh, let's see. There we go. Um, James Snyder in 11th bags, 362,200. Pierre Newville at 357.6. Uh, Jose Nadal out of Mexico, 349,700. Jake Cody, boy, there's a dangerous name to see at the top of the leaderboard here at the World Series of Poker. He is at 340,100. Omni, Omri Shaked, another one of the Israeli contingent, 321,800. Carlos Daffini at 310,100. Anton Morgenstern, 305. Uh, Fedor Holes, 3039. Uh, Gion, uh, Gioni Demers out of Jackson, New Jersey at 292,900. James Gilbert rounds out your top 20, 288,800. Uh, running down some of the other names that got through yesterday. Uh, Vivek Rajkumar, uh, who actually eliminated I mean, Bakuja. I mean, excuse me. I'm not frogging my throat there. Hey, Kevin Mathers is here. Let's get Kevin in here. How's it going, man? Good. You want to come on and say hi to everybody? Uh, Mr. Shuffle Up and Deal? That's right. I was honored. Here, come here real quick. Come on, Kevin. You got you got two minutes. Got, you, you be quick. Just watch out for the camera there, brother. Kevin Mathers is working his way over the hard way. Let's get him in here real quick. Cause Kevin Kevin Mathers doing doing shuffle up and deal today. I That's know. awesome. That was I was I was honored to uh, do the shuffle up and deal for two, day two C. Even more honored that I had chips to yeah. play on day two C, and I still I made it for level six. Yep. Nineteen thousand. I'll take. I'd say I had nineteen thousand twenty five. I started with nineteen six. To start today, day, so not bad. I got it down to 15, and uh, I actually did not lose my first all-in in the, in the, the four WSP events I've played, uh, three main events. It's like brag. Um, I've been all-in for my tournament life, and I've lost all three times. Wow! So the fourth time, I got Ace King, 
and I just lost like a quarter of my stack to the guy to the guy who was on my in the, to my left. I open, he re-raises, I ship, ace king. He turns over ace king. He had ace king of hearts. I had ace of spades, king of clubs. Flop was three spades. Couldn't get the four spades. Oh. But he was also the guy that I tweeted about. The guy in the nine seat, who was like he, he opened three times for like six six k. Uh huh. And it's like one of those things where, when you you get something, you're going in, you're going with it. Right. So, the guy makes it six k again. Folds around to the guy in the two seat. We had eight, he had aces for the second time in like four hands. He re-raises, all, he shoves, guy calls with king, queen off, flops, jack, jack, 10, turn nine, blank river, guy in the two seats gone home, is uh, going home disappointed. Wow. So There you go. So what was it like, Kevin? What was it like to be up on the stage doing that shuffle? Up it, was, it, was cool. kind of, it was kind of nerve-wracking because, you know, like I, like I mentioned, it was like it was the most nervous I'd ever been in like five years, like just talking to anyone, <laughs> yeah. you know, and I think... It's just like, you know, you're staying, there's like 2,500 people waiting for you to like get this, get this tournament going. So, I mean, I was honored to do that. I was honored to do that today, so. All right. And I know you got to get rolling here, but I want to ask one more question. The payouts. What are your thoughts about the payout structure for this year's main event? I think it's great. You know, I have no problem with them paying a thousand places. I mean, if everyone makes 15, you know, if the min cash is 15,000, I think that's great. You know, we're paying a little over one, like almost one seven, and it used to be like, Used to be like ten percent, so this is. I think it's better for everyone, especially. especially I, I would. I would love them in cash. Yeah. I wouldn't mind cashing for fifteen thousand. No. I think there's a lot of people who would be in that same spot. So. Yeah, it's going to be interesting what happens when that bubble bursts, though. Yeah, it's going to be a wild that, time. The other thing that is interesting is that tenth. There's like a. There's a huge bubble, between eleventh, tenth, and ninth. Yeah. Because tenth is going to be like like eleventh is like five hundred fifty or something like that, and tenth is seven fifty. And then if you make the fight November 9th, you get a million. Right. So that's going to be that's gonna be like, th- those three spots are going to be pretty huge. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, ninth is uh, a little over a million, and 10th, uh, 756,000, 11th and 12th, 526. Yeah. So, yeah, that's going to be another that's wild be ride there. That's going to be pretty huge. So. Yeah, right. Boy, right. a lot on the line. But Kevin, good luck to you. Go Thank get them. I will. I'm going to do my best, man. All right, there you go. Kevin Thanks. Mathers. Kev Math doing his thing. Still alive here in this main event at the World Series of Poker. All right, so there you go. Yeah, that's a, that is a very good point. The you know the disparity, you know the the flattened payouts at the bottom, and then that wild run at the top, where a quarter of a million dollars is going to be on the line, ninth and tenth, and uh, and then you get uh, or between tenth and eleventh, and then you get the ninth place spot that it's going to be for the November nine, and the really. Only uh, what, about ninety-six thousand dollar difference on that. Wow, that is going to be a, a fun time. Eleventh and tenth place are going to be hotly contested. We'll just say hotly contested. Should be pretty wild. Um, anyway, back to uh, our players that uh, got through uh, to yesterday's uh, got through yesterday's flight two A and B. Uh, back to those notables, and let's start running those down for you. Uh, Andy Spears there in 31st. Uh, let's see. We'll keep it going down here. Da, da, da. Just looking at names here. Boy, not a lot of big names at the top of this board. Uh, Christian Harder uh, at 59th. Griffin Paul at 60th. And keep rolling down here. Uh, Scott Montgomery is in there at 73rd. Uh, Mike Matiso bags uh, 200000 He'll come back, uh, finish an 86th in that flight. Matt Waxman, ailing over there, but still looking good. Got the hair hair all set, doing all right. Um, let's see, Chris Mormon uh, also is through from yesterday. Uh, he bags 190,700. Uh, Jonathan Duhamel still alive at 119. Kyle Cartwright at one and uh, one hundred seventy four eight. Oh boy, yeah, it's a pretty light group. Of course, you know, day one and uh, day one A and one B, we did not see a whole ton of professionals. Most of the big names showed up on day one C. So, you know, we're going to be seeing all those guys today. Of course, uh, just a reminder: what they do is they'll take they take the uh, flight one A and one B players that advanced combine them into one group because there is still a smaller group than 1C so the, those players 
ended up playing their day 2A slash B yesterday. And now everybody that played day 1C is here today. And then they'll come back tomorrow, or everybody will be coming back tomorrow and narrow down that field into day three. And uh, so that means whoever's in the house tomorrow and still playing is one of those players is going to be your next WSOP main event champion. Should be pretty exciting. Uh, just looking to see Lee Child. Saw Lee Childs out there in the hallway. Men the Master flying around. But wow, this is this is going to be a, a very fun series to <laughs> fun main event to watch. As like I said, we're seeing a lot of players uh, coming out of nowhere that people don't know, looking to try and uh, get through. And uh, you know, saw a lot of that yesterday. See what happens again this afternoon. But of course, I think we'll see a much more star-studded field as uh, we continue on here uh, this afternoon. Of course, by the way, don't forget, the biggest tournament of the year, the media tournament, is on tonight. Uh, that'll be at 7 p.m. here, and we'd love to have you come down and say hi to all of us in the media. I believe we're playing in the poker kitchen. They've uh, relegated us this year. We don't even get to go in the hallway. This time we're just uh, stuck by the food, which is okay. If we're going to get food, you know, make it one step. Definitely good with that. All right, and uh, let's see what else we have uh, going on here. I tell you what, uh, oh, geez, we got a fly out in front. Uh, you saw Kevin struggling with that, and I'm fighting him too now. Jiminy Christmas. Uh, we'll take a look at the leaderboard here uh, for day 2C after the break. And just uh, pulling a little more news and, uh, news and notes up for you. Uh, Chris Moneymaker uh, busted yesterday. Uh, just taking a look at uh, some of your other ones. Uh, James Woods and Jennifer Tilly also out of the tournament. Uh, he, They are gone. Um, yeah, so a little over 650 players coming back tomorrow from day one. Well, like I said, it just wasn't a real, a real notable group. You know, other than a few like uh, Hastings and, and Cody, uh, Manasso and some others, but certainly not a real star-studded field so far advancing, but we'll see. Should be, a, like I said, today I think it's going to be a pretty entertaining day as we close in on the, that, uh, that money bubble that everybody's looking forward to, and we'll see if it, it shows up on three the evening of 3C or uh, day 3, excuse me, or uh, early on day four, I would imagine it's going to fall somewhere in that range. All right, uh, we are going to step back and let's tell you what, let's uh, get a break in here, and we come back. We'll have more for you live from the World Series of Poker. Uh, boy, I'll tell you, a crazy afternoon here in the hallways. Chad Holloway is behind me, by the way, trying to screw up my set. But that's all right. What's up, Chad? Yeah, come on in, Chad. We'll 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 keep Chad Holloway on here. Absolutely. See, it's all these media types, but of course, uh, these media types are bagging chips. Kevin Mathers through you through. Yes, yes. Wow. Uh, hopefully through today on for both Kevin Math and I. That would be nice. We got a bug around here. There is a fly. That's not me waving at y'all. Yeah, we have a we have a fly. I if I was waving, I'd go like this. Remember when your kids kids yeah. used to? Never mind. We're yeah. way off topic. It's all good. So first break of day two C. Yep. And who's who's busted? I haven't had the chance to check. I have not actually. I hadn't had a chance to check either. We should check together. Well, we can check together. Uh, let's. We, I know we had two people bust at my table. Uh, I didn't know who they were, uh, but they one of them was replaced by Matt Stout. Who oh, is going to be a, a tough order. But That's he actually a... livened up the table as far as um, not the action, but just the the table chatter. Yeah, and you know, that's nice because it was dead before. Yeah, I'm just looking to see uh, when we get. Scroll all the way down. Yep, and I'm getting there. They've only got uh, two pages. In two there. pages. Jeez. That's not many. I'm excited. Here we go. There's some bust Okay, outs. here we go. We got some bust up. Ivy, gone. Oh. Ho, gone. Oh, Maria. Uh, Mike Leah, gone. Matt oh. Affleck, gone. Huck Seed, gone. Kathy Liebert is out. Greg Mueller is out. David Oppenheim, eliminated. Barry Greenstein is gone. Eric Wasserman, Man. out. David Benjamin, saw him uh, leaving a little while ago. He is out. Daniel Strelitz, Tyler, Han Tyler Hancock, and, of course, we mentioned the Miami boss, oh, also man, that's some, eliminated. That's some tough, uh, tough players there. You know, every, this is, the, the poker world always kind of sheds a tear when Ivy busts. And yeah. uh, 
especially when he showed up so late for the, the 2015 World Series. It's, yep. uh, it was short and not so sweet. I, I don't think he, we, he did anything. He, we uh, we could have that I mean Negrano streak busted. Yeah. Of course, uh, they've won. They've either one of them has won a bracelet since what? I believe mean, it's uh, 2004 or five, somewhere in there. It's been a long time. Wait, no, Ivy won one last year. Yeah, but the streak, that streak of one of them winning. Oh, one of them. Oh, yeah, that's it's, interesting. Well, you know, there is the World Series of Poker Europe coming up. I don't know. Oh, yeah, we're, that's true. We are not officially done yet. Yeah, Good if point. If you're including that. So it's going to be interesting to see, um, you know, with the player of the year race. If that's going to extend into uh, WSOP Europe. I know the yep. race itself does, but if the players who are contending actually fly over there and you know keep it up. So. Well, it's going to be interesting with, with Gordinsky choosing not to play the main event. Right. And for, uh, for, uh, you know, there's a few guys that have a chance to catch it. Now, Brian Hastings is off to a good start. Uh, he's in the top five, so this could be a, a big chance for him to open up the lead. I think the question is going to be for, let, you know, let's say Hastings has a deep run and opens up you know a three or 400 point lead. Is it really going to be worth anybody trying to catch him at that point? Because you're, the, the, there's not going to be many points available. Yeah, I wouldn't say it'd be worth, uh, you know, I'm going to make this special trip to Germany for the World Series of Poker Europe just for the player of the year because there's no monetary prize. You know, it's the right. prestige. I know a lot of those players, it's just about the money. Um, so, you know, maybe if, if it was about the money and they're not so worried about the title, then, then no reason to make the special trip. Yeah. If they're going to go there anyways... Well, then maybe play a couple of events you might you know, might not have planned on playing or what have you. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, how's your day going, uh, everything there? You know, I started the day with 68.5, and multi didn't count right before I came to break. I maybe were at like 60, between 67 and 69,000. Uh, okay. So I really no movement that level. A uh, couple, couple, you know, pocket kings, took down some really small pots, and, uh, you know, it was really uneventful. But that's fine. I'd rather have... Uh, have that happen than lose half my stack and i'm actually proud because yeah. by making this break i made i've made it further than i did the first time i played the main event uh the first ever time in 2013 nice i busted right you know first level of day two so i'm already in new uh, uncharted territory yeah well what's it like in there we've got a lot of you know a lot of great pros and you know pretty good atmosphere here this afternoon before everything kind of starts trickling down and right. start yeah, whittling I'm, players I'm actually out. still in the pavilion room for the second time i was mm -hmm. there for day one and, and there now I'm looking for it. I'd like to get into the uh, Brasilia room and ideally into the Amazon room as this sucker plays down. Yes. But it's still good. You know, people are excited. Uh, making day two is, is a very exciting thing. Making day three, of course, is what everybody's shooting for. And it sounds like the money could be reached on day three. Do you think um, that's where I, I'm thinking it's probably going to be late in day three? Yeah, I think so. You know, 650 people advanced from yesterday's field. Let's say, you know, with the, the bigger field here today, you know, another, I don't know. Even 1,500, that leaves, you know, 2,100 people coming back tomorrow. Uh, you know, we'll have to lose half the field to get in the money. And yep. I think you're right, late late day three probably will be the money when they're paying 1,000 spots. So yeah. I hope I'm there. Yeah, so it should be a good afternoon. Well, Chad, I'm going to let you get All back right. to it. you got a, you got a world it. championship to win. I, uh, I hope to see you many more days during the main event as a player. There you go. <laughs> Sounds good. Chad Holloway stopping by, everybody. Chad of Poker News. Of course, you can check out all his great work on PokerNews.com. And the players are starting to head back in. Dave Inselberg is here. Look at this guy. I know. Good God. I know. It's ridiculous. You, you should have brought a bottle. You should have brought a bottle along. <laughs> exactly. Well, no, good luck to you, brother. All right. Dave Inselberg, uh, Mir Lavat, going by. Yeah, a lot of great talent uh, in the house this afternoon. Of course, uh, so we did see some uh, big names go down. And then we'll get back into the chip counts and see who's uh, rising up the board here in just a little bit. In fact, I'll tell you what, let's, uh, let's hit that break that we were going to take right now. That'll be exciting. So uh, let's uh, do our thing and pay the bills. And when we come back, what's... Who is uh, chipping up here at the World Series of Poker Main Event 2015? And one second here. Sorry, guys. Just uh, doing a little business. All right. And stick around, everybody. We'll be right back. 
It's the dream of every poker player to play in the biggest events in the world or have a piece of their favorite championship player. Now, with Ustake.com, that dream can become a reality. Ustake.com offers you the chance to put up staking packages for the events you want to play or buy pieces of top professionals for as little as $20. Using a safe and secure payment and payout process, all transactions are done with full transparency so you know your money and investments are handled properly. And the best part is anyone can participate on Ustake.com from the amateur to the top poker pro. So what are you waiting for? For it. Sign up for free on Ustake.com today and get in on the exciting poker action. It's sports staking simple and secure. Ustake.com. I'm here with two time WSOP bracelet winner, Rep Porter. Rep, you just launched a new poker training site, thepokeracademy.com. What's one tip you can give to players that will immediately improve their game? One mistake I see a lot of newer tournament players make is they vary their bet size depending on their hand strength. Some players, when they have a big hand, bet big, and when they have a small hand, bet small. Other players bet smaller when they want you to call them and bet bigger when they want you to fold. These type of betting pattern tells are very easy to pick up on if you're sitting at the table with the same player for a long time. It's really important in tournament play to keep your bet sizing consistent so that your opponents aren't able to discern what kind of hand you have by the amount that you're betting. That's a great tip for you from Rep Porter at ThePokerAcademy.com. It's a completely different kind of training site. ThePokerAcademy.com offers a no-limit tournament course that gives you a comprehensive strategy from the beginning through all the stages of tournament play. Use the link ThePokerAcademy.com slash mark to get a free 166-page course guide when you buy the course. That's ThePokerAcademy.com slash mark. There's nothing better than sitting down to play poker with good friends and cutting loose. And that's what you're going to find when you tune in to Poker Night in America. Poker Night in America is revolutionizing televised poker in a big way. With all the action you love and the hilarious fun you've been missing, come take a seat at the table with all your favorite players. Old and new with Poker Night in America. Mondays, 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific on CBS Sports Network. And don't forget to visit the show online at Poker Night night.com so pull up a chair and join us mondays on poker night in america what a donkey would call my pre-flop bet with a deuce tray hey deuce tray is my lucky hand and besides they were suited man i played that hand great <laughs> that was a real share my pair hand Share My Pair, the best way to share your poker stories with friends for free. Available from the iTunes App Store and Google Play. Download the app now. Pokershop.com is your one-stop shop for all your poker and game room needs. Pokershop.com has you covered with an incredible variety of poker chips and supplies, top quality playing cards, plus gaming tables and room accessories, just like you'd find in your favorite casino. And if you're looking to spruce up your man cave, we offer a wide selection of decor options, from lighting to mirrors, and portable bars to bub stools, to make your game room the one all your friends and family will be talking about. So for everything you need to make your your game night a great night. Go to www.pokershop.com and receive 10% off your purchase with the code HOKE. H-O-K-E. You supply your friends. We supply everything else. Live it. Love it. Pokershop.com. Hi everyone, Mark here. If you're a poker player like me and looking for something different and exciting to play, you should give Open Face Chinese Poker a shot. It has just the right mix of skill, luck, plus a huge dose of the fun factor we're all looking for. There's a reason Open Face Chinese Poker has everyone from the recreational player to the top pros hooked on its thrills, action, and unique social interactions you won't find in Hold'em. An incredible game like this has got to be worth checking out. And it's easy to learn, especially by using the ABC Chinese Poker app. Download the ABC Chinese Poker app on iTunes today and find out what everyone's talking about. And if you have questions about the game, tweet at ABC Chinese Poker and they'll be glad to help you along. So join the open face Chinese Poker community today with the ABC Chinese Poker app and we'll see you at the tables. 
Your business and promotion will only go as far as your website will take you. That's why the Mark Hoke Show has only trusted one name for over two years. BlueRail.net. Whether you need custom website design and development packages or simply need a host for your website, BlueRail is the only developer to turn to. It's time to discover the world-class personalized service only the BlueRail team can provide. Visit us at BlueRail.net. Net and call 520-822-5128 right now for your free consultation today. So get on board at BlueRail.net. How far do you want to go? The PPC Poker Tour is back in action in July with two can't-miss tour stops. Join us at the Silks Poker Room at Tampa Bay Downs for the PPC Tampa Down Summer Series, July 8th through 12th, with a $50,000 guaranteed main event, and then head down to Naples, Fort Myers, Greyhound Track for the Naples Fort Myers Gold Coast Open, July 21st through the 26th, with a $30,000 guaranteed main event. It's your chance to win your way to Aruba for an unforgettable trip to poker paradise at the PPC Aruba Championships. Check out all the information at ppcpokertour.com and join the fireworks on the PPC Poker Tour in July. Want more of the Mark Hoke Show? Then follow us on Twitter at Mark Hoke Show and like our Facebook page at The Mark Hoke Show for show news and outstanding poker content from around the world. Plus, enjoy the show anytime by subscribing to our podcasts on iTunes or at markhokeshow.podbean.com. We're even on your mobile phone at markhokeshow.podbean.com backslash mobile. Thanks for listening and being a part of The Mark Hoke Show. Now, let's return to The Mark Hoke Show. The Mark Hoke Show. Here again, your host, Mark Hoke. All right, everybody, we're back live here at the World Series of Poker. The main event going on, day 2C. Battling it out is most of the return field from day 1 is playing this afternoon. Someone is going to walk out of here with the World Championship. Seven plus million dollars. Should be pretty cool. <laughs> so let's uh, do this real quick. Let's take a look at those chip counts uh, for uh, so far from day to C. And I got to back this up here real quick. Of course, uh, only the notables listed in here right now uh, and the big stacks. And right now, Liga Gerasimova. 197,650 chips, uh, top count listed in the room right now. Uh, he's out, out of Moscow. Uh, John Gorsuch from Woodbridge, Virginia, 192,700. Norbert Shezzy at 187,000 for Budapest, Hungary. Uh, Jonathan Tamayo, 176,000. Zarek Megar, dang it, I had this. Megar Dechayan uh, from La. La Canada, California, 168,000. Ryan Alisar, 168. Brandon Frazier, 165, 525. Elia Lesra, probably your biggest name up there, obviously, 162,500. And also being chased down by Victor Ramden at 162. Jason DeWitt at 161. Rounding out the current listed top 10. Some of your other big names in there. Keith Lair is at 147 so far. Good start for him today. Jared Blesnick, 136. Uh, Corey Wenstel, who won a bracelet in this series already, at 131,000, or 130,000, excuse me. Uh, Mark Kroon, and boy, I'll tell you, would that be a great story to see Kroon get back into this? Of course, had the that the bluff that went horribly wrong a couple years ago. Excuse me. And he now stands at 123,000. Uh, Marshall Wolak, former ladies champion, at 120,000. Uh, Ryan Reese, the former world champion, also at 120. Uh, Matt Berkey at 117, Antonio Sfondiari 115, and Jamie Gold, who uh, came just a few spots from winning a bracelet earlier in this series, comes in at 110. McCool Pahuja at uh, 1083. Uh, Jean Paul Pascal Savard, 105,115. JC Tran, 105. Dan Kelly's at 102. 
Uh, Kevin O'Donnell at 97. Brian Devonshire at 96. And you got Taylor Parr, Chris Wade, Alex Keating, uh, Cliss Josephy, Matt Marafiati, Lee Childs, Scotty Wynn. Wynn at 83.5. A good start for him. Phil Helmy at 81. Brock Parker, Daniel Lai, uh, Nick Devella, Brian O'Donoghue, um, Sir Watts listed in there right now, Matt Jarvis, Matt Stout, I mean, Matt Glantz. I mean, uh, this is a loaded field this afternoon as uh, these guys will try and survive their five levels and get to day three. And, boy, I'll tell you, they could be smelling the money tomorrow night. Going to be something. Uh, let's take a look at some of the players that are on your short stack right now. By the way, Robert Marconi also in this. So the world champions uh, doing well so far early on in this main event. Uh, Tony Dunst at 22. Anthony Zeno at 21.6. So Zeno's a miracle run trying to continue here, but he's going to have to get it going. Uh, we got Kevin Math, like I said, at uh, 19. Uh, let's see. Who else we have there? Kevin Eisner's at 13.8. Uh, Ronnie Barda. The streak is on the line. Of course, Barda five years in a row is cash in the main event we'll try and extend that record to six but he has got to get it going uh, as he sits at only thirteen thousand. uh robert salaburro of course former november niner at 12-3 uh william reynolds 12-2-5 zoe kareem at 12 tyler patterson at 18 and let's see adam freeman's at 7800 olivier busquet at 76 isaac barron 65 25 kevin stamen at 6500 so some players in big names in big trouble here early on here on day two of course still a long way to go as love more another eight hours of play coming to them before this wraps up at the end of the night but of course the blinds are only going to be at six finished up yesterday 600 1200 so you know a, a decent you know forty thousand chips or so and uh, you can still keep a smile on your face so should be a pretty interesting afternoon for the wsop uh taking a look now at our bracelet winners here for 2015 as we gave out have already given out 67 bracelets here at this year's world series of poker we're not going to hit them all but we'll, we'll run down a bunch of them here uh let's uh yeah, we'll, we'll kind of recap that through the week nick Nunes in a hurry go nick uh, Brandon Barnett wins the employees event, event number one, 688 entrance, and that picks up $75,704, a big comeback against Greg Seiden to come back and win that one. Uh, event number two, the $5,000 No Limit Hold'em, won by Michael Wang. He knock, comes from behind to knock off Bryn Kenny, and that one wins $466,120. Uh, Robert Mizraki claims his third World Series of Poker bracelet, winning the $1,500 Omaha High Low 8 or Better, beating on 918 players for $251,000. $22. Uh, Nick Petrangelo wins event number four, the $3,000 No Limit Hold'em Shootout, beating out 308 players for $201,812. Uh, Colossus, uh, of course, the $565 buy-in, 22,374 entries, and that one goes to Cord Garcia, winning $638,880. Uh, event six, the $1,000 Hyper Hold'em, one by John Redding, who's uh, had a pretty good World Series for himself, too. Uh, beats out f wins, uh, over 1,436 entrants, $252,068. And then number seven, the $10,000 limit, deuce to seven, draw, triple draw, low ball championship goes to Tuan Lee, who beats 109 players and defends his title, winning $322,756. Going back to back in the same event, pretty impressive. Uh, event number eight, the $1,500 pot limit hold'em goes to Paul Michaelis, uh, who knocks off Tom Marchese to win that one, 639 entrants, $189,818. Uh, event nine, the $1,500 Raz tournament. Max Pescatori claimed the first of his two World Series poker bracelets, beating Ryan Miller and winning you know, $155,947 from 462 players. Keith Lair uh, wins the $10,000 Heads Up No Limit Hold'em Championship, an event a uh, little bit racked with controversy. I haven't heard anything uh, on that cheating scandal since uh, the investigation was launched. Uh, but Lair knocks off Paul Volpe, one of two runner-up finishes for Volpe in this World Series. Lair winning $334,430. Um, and number 11, William Kakan, uh who uh, led one of the one eight, day one flights here as well in the main event, knocks off Daniel Needman to uh, win that tournament, 
$55 for him, beating out 660 players. All right, and some of you are in the Nobles uh, winning bracelets. Barry Hutter wins the $1,500 Pot Limit Hold'em Championship. Or excuse me, the $1,500 No Limit Hold'em Shootout as he beats out 1,000 players to win that one, 283,546. Sean Deeb finally wins a World Series of Poker Bracelet. The $10,000 Pot Limit Hold'em Championship, 128 entries, $318,857 as he edges out Paul Volpe. So Volpe gets another runner-up finish here at the World Series of Poker. Of course, uh, Adrian Buckley wins the $1,500 Millionaire Maker, 7,275 entries. That number was actually down from last year, but he picks up $1,277,193. Remco is picking up drinks, by the way. Very nice work. Made it all the way down here from Starbucks, too. Pretty impressive. Uh, Phil Helmuth knocks off Mike Gordinsky to win the $10,000 Raz Championship. Bracelet number 14 for the Poker Brat. Wins $271,105. John Gale winning the $1,000 Turbo No Limit Hold'em. $298,290 for him. Uh, ben Zamani defeats Natasha Barber in event number 20. $1,500 No Limit Hold'em tournament to claim that title. Barber had a bluff go wrong, and Zamani ends up taking down that bracelet. Daniel Lottie, Alai wins his fifth World Series of Poker bracelet, winning the $10,000 Omaha High Low 8 or Better Championship, $391,097 going his way on that one. Uh, Brian Hastings, boy, I'll tell you, he cashed in more than the $239,518. He won in event number 27 with all those prop bets, for winning player of the year and winning a bracelet. Hastings on his way to the first of his two World Series of Poker bracelets this year. Knocks off Scott Clemens to win that seven-card stud title. Uh, Phil Galfon claims his second World Series of Poker bracelet in event 29. 77 players as he defeats Nick Schulman heads up in the No Limit Deuce to Seven Draw Low Ball Championship for $224,383. Jeff Madsen claims another World Series of Poker bracelet, his fourth, as he wins $301,413 in the $3,000 Putt Limit Omaha High Low 8 or Better Championship. And then follow that with Jason Mercier winning the $5,000 No Limit Hold'em Six-Handed Tournament. So another bracelet for Mercier as well. Daniel Adema claims another bracelet winning the $3,000 Horse Tournament. Uh, Byron Caverman, another win for him as he knocks off Doug Polk to win the uh, $10,000 No Limit Hold'em Six-Handed Championship. Japan gets a bracelet as Tiago Nishijima defeat, uh, wins event number 38 for $546,843 bucks in that $3,000 No Limit Hold'em tournament. Hastings won event 39, his second bracelet this year, 300, being 380 players for $133,403. Uh, Seniors Championship goes to Travis Baker, edging out 400 4,193 players to win that title. Picks up 613,000. Max Pescatori wins event 41, 292,158 bucks. So another double bracelet winner this year. Mike Gordinsky then steps up, wins the Players Poker Players Championship event number fifth, uh, event number 44, uh, winning $1,297,000, or $1,270,000, 86 dollars, beating Jean Robert Balland. Heads up to win that title, and uh, that has propelled him to the lead in the Player of the Year race. Uh, Matt O'Donnell wins event 47, the $2,500 No Limit Hold'em for uh, 551941 bucks. Ellie Lesler, of course, we already mentioned, won the seven card, $1,500 seven-card stud, claiming his third World Series bracelet, $112,591. Bucks. Ben Yu gets off the schneid as he wins the $10,000 Limit Hold'em Championship. Knocking off Jesse Martin and winning his first ever World Series of Poker bracelet. Uh, Carol Fuchs wins the dealer's choice. So we have another female winning an open championship. So that streak continues. Uh, Jacqueline Scott won the ladies tournament as well. Uh, Kevin McPhee finally wins his first World Series of Poker bracelet. Be, uh, in the $5,000 Turbo No Limit Hold'em. Uh, edging out 454 players and winning $490,800. Uh, Jonathan Duhamel wins the one drop. Uh, the $111,000 $111 high roller for one drop tournament, $3,989,985 going to a Mel's way. Uh, Anthony Zeno wins the $2,500 high roller pot limit Omaha tournament as his incredible year continues. Anthony Spinella wins the online event 
197743 and uh, Quindo winning the $10,000 Dealer's Choice Championship, edging out the Poker Academy's Rep Porter to take that one down. Uh, and, of course, so we are on event number 68, the main event here at the World Series of Poker. Top prize, $7,680,021. bucks. Someone's going to be a real happy camper come November. should be pretty exciting. All right, so there's your uh, rundown. And uh, sorry if uh, any of you other bracelet learners got left, but uh, we'll we'll run those down a little bit. That's okay. Yeah, by the way, uh, yeah, Casino Examiner in the chat box. Pat Lyons is still in the main event, the second best player in the Bay Area. <laughs> Funny guy. Funny guy. We all know Pat Lyons is the greatest player of all time. Just get used to it, you know? Let's get used to a casino examiner. It's all good. All right, so there's your rundown of what's happened here at the World Series so far this year. Uh, but we are going to step back and take a break. And when we return, more updates on eliminations, chip counts, and uh, oh my, I think I think Ronnie Barta's out. I think we may have lost Ronnie Barta. The streak could be over. So uh, we'll. Uh, Try and verify that for you in a little bit. Let's take a break, and we'll be right back here on the Mark Hoke Show, live from the World Series of Poker. Stick around, everybody. We'll be right back. I'm here with two-time WSOP bracelet winner, Rep Porter. Rep, you just launched a new poker training site, thepokeracademy.com. What's one tip you can give to players that will immediately improve their game? I would say that if you're not currently using your chips as weapons to win other chips, you need to start doing that. One great way to do that is to raise more frequently pre-flop when it's folded to you in the cutoff or on the button. You should be opening with 40 to 70% of your hands, depending on the tournament situation. You'll find that you win the blinds and andies pre-flop at a very high rate. And even if one of your opponents calls you, you'll still have chances to win the spot. Sometimes you'll make a hand, and other times you'll be able to win the spot with a simple continuation bet. That's a great tip for you from Rep Porter of ThePokerAcademy.com. It's a completely different kind of training site. ThePokerAcademy.com offers a no-limit tournament course that gives you a comprehensive strategy from the beginning through all the stages of tournament play. Use the link ThePokerAcademy.com slash Mark to get a free 166-page course guide when you buy the course. That's ThePokerAcademy.com slash Mark. The PPC Poker Tour is back in action in July with two can't-miss tour stops. Join us at the Silks Poker Room at Tampa Bay Downs for the PPC Tampa Downs Summer Series, July 8th through 12th, with a $50,000 guaranteed main event, and then head down to Naples, Fort Myers, Greyhound Track for the Naples Fort Myers Gold Coast Open, July 21st through the 26th, with a $30,000 guaranteed main event. It's your chance to win your way to Aruba for an unforgettable trip to poker paradise at the PPC Aruba Championships. Check out all the information at ppcpokertour.com and join the fireworks on the PPC Poker Tour in July. Pokershop.com is your one-stop shop for all your poker and game room needs. Pokershop.com has you covered with an incredible variety of poker chips and supplies, top quality playing cards, plus gaming tables and room accessories, just like you'd find in your favorite casino. And if you're looking to spruce up your man cave, we offer a wide selection of decor options, from lighting to mirrors, and portable bars to bump stools, to make your game room the one all your friends and family will be talking about. So for everything you need to make your game night a great night go to www.pokershop.com and receive 10 percent off your purchase with a code hoke h-o-k-e you supply your friends we supply everything else live it love it pokershop.com there's nothing better than sitting down to play poker with good friends and cutting loose. And that's what you're going to find when you tune in to Poker Night in America. Poker Night in America is revolutionizing televised poker in a big way. With all the action you love and the hilarious fun you've been missing, come take a seat at the table with all your favorite players. Old and new with Poker Night in America. Mondays, 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific on CBS Sports Network. And don't forget to visit the show online at Poker Night so pull up a chair and join us Mondays on Poker Night in America. Oh. 
A little donkey would call my pre-flop bet with a deuce tray. Hey, deuce tray is my lucky hand. And besides, they were suited. Man, I played that hand great. <laughs> that was a real share my pair hand. Share my pair. The best way to share your poker stories with friends. For free. Available from the iTunes App Store and Google Play. Download the app now. Heads up, everyone. It's time for the ABC Chinese Poker App Tip of the Day. Always double check for fives and tens before you set your hand. A five or a ten is needed to complete every possible straight, so make sure you aren't shutting yourself out by misplacing those key cards at the start of the hand. Leaving the door open to as many hand possibilities as you can will lead to big points and lots of winning sessions. Want to get in on the Chinese poker action with over one million games played every week? Download the ABC Chinese Poker App poker app on your iPhone or iPad today from Vegas to Miami and all over the world it's the number one Chinese poker app ABC Chinese poker the poker action never stops at Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino be a part of our third annual Seminole Hard Rock Poker Open offering a five million dollar guaranteed championship August 15th through 18th that's over five million reasons to get in the game Play in any of the additional events running at the premier poker destination July 30th through August 19th, plus satellites and promotions all summer long. The Seminole Hard Rock Poker Open Championship event features one of the best structures anywhere and will be televised and live stream of four final tables, guaranteeing a 7.5 million in combined prize pools. Visit SHRPO.com or the Poker Room for registration and how to win your entry into the championship. Only at Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino Hollywood. Must be 21 to play slots and table games and at least 18 to play live poker. If you or someone you know has a gambling problem, please call one 888 Want more of The Mark Hoke Show? Then follow us on Twitter at Mark Hoke Show and like our Facebook page at The Mark Hoke Show for show news and outstanding poker content from around the world. Plus, enjoy the show anytime by subscribing to our podcasts on iTunes or at markhokeshow.podbean.com. We're even on your mobile phone at markhokeshow.podbean.com backslash mobile. Thanks for listening and being a part of The Mark Hoke Show. Now, let's return to The Mark Hoke Show. The Mark Hoke Show. Here again, your host, Mark Hoke. Hey, here's a rarity. Other than the uh, the regular KSHP show, we'll have the podcast up from that this afternoon. Nate Dallin, co-host of The Mark Hoke Show, wow. is here during one of the 2 o'clock shows. Isn't that amazing? I never, I have not gotten over here once this season. Not once. Not once. And finally, there's the last day of the after school is open. Make sure you stop by. Are you playing the media event tonight? Yes. Yes, I am. You're coming in second. We're going 1 2. I hope so. 1 2. 1 2. Do you want 5%? 5%? 5% of like an iPad or, there, or, or, a, or, a, or a, a, a cookie. There's like TV or prizes and stuff like yeah. that, isn't there? Yeah. So, how do I get 5% of a TV? Um, You can come over. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Nate, you've been up in the Blue Shark Optics booth. What's it been like for you guys up there, uh, this World Series? I'll tell you, oh it's my. been it, it's been a kind of an up and down, weird World Series. What have you? Uh, seen it's been there? consistent. It's been uh, constant. It's a lot of new customers, including some uh, very happy faces. So uh, people that have, that have won some bracelets, made some final tables. So uh, it's it's really nice being out here. Yeah. Well, one speaking of being out. Uh, we can officially report that Ronnie Barta has been eliminated Aww. from the World Series of Poker. The streak ends at five years in a row, cashing wow. in the main event. And boy, did he take a crappy beat to do it, too. You ready for this, Nate? Yeah. So Barta opens for 1,400 with 9,700 left uh, from the cutoff with aces. Quote, old man that calls from big with 17K. Flop is king 10-7. Uh, he check calls 2K. Turn of six of hearts. He checks. Barta shoves. Calls with queen seven offsuit. So he calls it with third pair. Seven on the river. Oh. And Ronnie Barta is eliminated from this year's World Series of Poker main oh, event. Oh, so brutal. Oh, the, so the PPC, uh, one, our, one of our PPC ambassadors. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's uh, the record is done. But what? What? And I've got to tell you, though, what an accomplishment. Five I mean, years to, in a row cashing oh. the main event is a huge accomplishment. Yeah. And he said uh, on his tweet, he said, 
Uh, Seven River, we are out for 22K pots, so this is how it feels. Guy literally didn't play a hand worse than Ace King High in the Spaz versus me. <laughs> well, well, that's how it goes, man. It's you got to fight you your way beat, through this minefield. You can beat the best, but when it comes to those those guys that just don't have a, enough experience, they don't know when to fold. Yep. So we were hoping to lose that guy on day one, not have those issues on day two, but no, nope, a few of them they trickle through. They do. They're kind of sneaky like that. They usually don't make a final table though. So, yeah, well, usually. 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 Well, one or two of them will get through on occasion. But, yeah. Ben so. Lamb made the final table. Oh, <laughs> oh that, was, that was harsh. <laughs> that was harsh. Anybody can do it. Ben Lamb did oh, it. Oh, it's so mean. Um, wow, by the way, uh, David uh, Car uh, Carico uh, just tweeted uh, my favorite thing to do in Las Vegas and leave. Apparently, he's going out the door. Oh. So so good luck for him. Um, and by the way, real quick, I want to mention uh, Damon Schulberger down at the PPC Poker Tour kind of pulling the weight for us and uh, hanging in there. He's doing a good he job. Had, he had a rough day yesterday. He you had know, a couple long, of vlogs Long afternoon. You know, we're, we're, we're molding. We're shaping. You know, but uh, Damon's down there at the PPC Tournament uh, Series at Tampa Bay Downs. And uh, we did have a champion yesterday crown as uh, Ian Feller won event number one down there. Uh, not sure how much he won because we didn't get the chop number in there, but uh, you know, we'll we'll get Damon to update that information. Yeah, he's just got to add some stuff to the recap, and we'll yeah, be yeah. good. But uh, congratulations to him. The PLO tournament ran overtime, so they're coming back for event number two to wrap that one up this afternoon, and uh, they're closing in on a final table on event three. So hopefully Damon will have a short night down there after. Yeah. Go until the four a.m. deadline. He can he can go kick back on the beach for a little while and yeah. play his little flute. Likes likes to play the flute. Okay. I don't know if you've heard Damon's 4-H flute. I've never oh, heard Damon's 4-H so flute. It is so good. I, I don't ever want to see Damon's flute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. All right, Mark. All right, gotta well, you got to get work. out of here. So see you soon, man. All right. Tear it up. There you go. Nate Allen, everybody. There you go. Okay. So uh, right now, of course, that, that is the big news here at the main event. Ronnie Barta gone from the World Series of Poker. Wow. And, and what a tough, tough way to uh, say goodbye to him. But mm. So bar it out. Uh, real quick, uh, some updated uh, chip counts, a couple of eliminations here before we go off the air. Oh, and by the way, while we're on, though, before we get those chip counts, I want to welcome Ustake.com to the sponsorship family of the Mark Hoke Show. Of course, we got to announce them on the KSHP Show yesterday. And we want to thank Ustake.com for joining us. And there's a great chance. And if you want to stake somebody, any one of your favorite players, I mean, you can make some money off that. And uh, also, if you want to get staked in major events, just go to Ustake.com. It's safe, secure, and absolutely free to sign up. So check it out today at Ustake.com. Uh, let's see if we've got any major movements here. Uh, Jens, uh, Jens Lake, Lake Meyer has uh, gone up to 179,900 in chips. Uh, Elia Lesra picked up 72,000 so this level. He's looking good. Owen Crow has bounced up the board from Halifax, Nova Scotia, uh, 38,000 or up to 147,800. Uh, Jeffrey Griffiths has bounced up this level a little bit. He goes to 145,400. Uh, Cliff Joseph, he added some chips to his stack. Uh, he goes to 120,000. That's looking for some other big movers. Uh, Mark Etienne McLaughlin goes to, gets a well, near double up, goes to 104,200. Uh, Kevin O'Donnell, big pick up this level, goes to 97.5. That's all you can do, just keep looking for a double up here and there, and you're all right. Ty Stewart's going to double up tonight in the media event. He's got it. I, you know what? I'm going to call Ty Stewart victory tonight. That'll be fun. Um, let's see what else we have here. Uh, yeah, that's really about it on the major chip bounces in terms of eliminations. We'll take a look there and see who else has gone by the wayside. And like I said, Ronnie Barta is out. Uh, Kevin Stamen has been eliminated. Wendy Friedman is out. Tony Dunst is out. Shane Schlager gone. Uh, so they will add to the list of players that have been eliminated and had their World Series of Poker ended here this afternoon on day 2C. So more players falling out of here. 
as uh, still listening to 2976 remaining. I'm sure that number is uh, definitely not uh, 100% accurate at this point. But uh, we could probably expect about uh, 2,500 ish, or maybe even around the 2,000 mark, to come back tomorrow and could be chasing the money. So it should be pretty cool. All right. And that is going to do it for us, I believe, this afternoon. So there's your update from the World Series of Poker. As, uh, we get to sit outside the room of death and watch everybody, uh, unfortunately, head out the door here for a couple more days. Hopefully, we'll be up by the Amazon room uh, as we get into days five, six, and seven. So I want to thank all of you for joining us today. And once again, uh, we'll have a podcast up from yesterday's KSHP show with Rep Porter. Uh, that'll be on uh, markhokeshow.podbean.com and also on iTunes, so make sure you check that out. Follow the show at Mark Hoke Show on Twitter the, and Facebook, The Mark Hoke Show. And, of course, uh, join us once again on KSHP 1400 AM and KSHP in Las Vegas and KSHP.com around the world on Wednesdays. Oh, and Casino Examiner, I forgot to mention that, too. Thank you. Uh, former NFL quarterback Ken the Snake Stabler has passed away at age 69. So say goodbye to the snake. But, uh, boy, I'll tell you, boy, see, that was a fun QB to watch and one tough son of a gun, too. All right, well, that's going to do it, guys. We will see you uh, tomorrow here from the World Series of Poker. Hopefully, I will be the media event champion. They're going to let us swim in the pool for 15 minutes. Should be pretty cool. Pretty nice. So stick around. Uh, so we'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great afternoon. Best of luck to all of you at the tables. And we'll see you at 2 p.m. Pacific time here on the Mark Hoke Show. Have a great afternoon. Best of luck. <laughs>